Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back for another episode. Hopefully we don't get stuck on any proving grounds, but maybe we will. Oh, before we start, let me ask you to whitelist me or turn off any um, ad blockers. That's what they're called. Yeah, turn off those ad blockers. Today we're going to do Langston River. This is the one where we're going to try and not fall off the boat at all. We'll see if we can do that with all these gods invoked. And let's see, what weapons do I have? We'll just go with whatever I've got. Hopefully we'll unlock some different proving ground. I'd hate to do bullhead court this episode, but I, I'll do it if I have to. That's the Langston River. Used to cut all the way to the wild. Think it was bad then. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Are platforms like this where the skyways are supposed to land, but the winds have changed? So we've got our repeater. Are we gonna get anything shooting this? Swarming with wood bags. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still alone. Weeping Nilly. She sent some squirts crying home as she leaves the port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. There's like spikes over there. The secret thing. They try to cut her off. It's like they try oh. to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Good spot for a break, cause the core is right there. Like a hundred flapping wings. They've been watching his every move. 
peckers. their own eyes on the core, but why? Well, Kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds Weepin' Nelly rearing the go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all that pickers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Now remember, we don't want to fall off. Security skiffs keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. They're fighting each other. The windbag's getting even better, I dare. They aim to smash with the the splinters. Too much for poor Nelly. She's just got to make one last stop. With the last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground of pecking country. They want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes him off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the barge back there? Not even once. You should remember this next part. Which? Why go to Prosper Bluff? So we end up doing two levels. <laughs> one level. Used to take an enterprising man or a plain old fool to venture out that far. Well, that guy's working for me, man. <laughs> The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Yeah, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? That's the one.
have a song where you can certainly attribute a lot to it, but what it's actually saying is not a lot. Like, like a lot of songs actually. The songs have five different words in them, and then all, all of a sudden it's this deep, thought out meaning uh, song. On the face of it, the song is about the era and so it's on the people and how they just could never get along and it ends up in the plane. But if you take the meaning to be more subtle, and it's a figurative wall in your heart or a figurative hole that you're hiding yourself in. This could be just the story of the last few living people in this place. Well, they will be run into. Very much you can claim. Guided paths, so we 
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. That city on a hill foreshadowing-ish. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. So, you have to assume between each level... But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Days and weeks and Possibly even years going on. It wouldn't be surprising if, um, if it were a couple of years to get all these things done. Now, what am I not going to do? I am not going to show anybody the hidebound journal at all. This is the central point, the number one point of the conflict that starts in the, this game. So, in theory, if I don't show it to anybody, nobody should know about it. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. There is Sure, the game. world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. The Girl tried to run away from like home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? And in Fable 2, there's, like, the first act happens, and then there's several years, like, at least, I'd say about ten years happens, and then the second act happens, and then about a four or five more years happen. In between, it's very strange, I would say. So he doesn't see the hidebound journal, he doesn't see the hidebound journal, and she doesn't see it. So now nobody here except for me should know about the high band drum. It should not exist in their minds. So in theory, the whole conflict has been averted. The game will end very quickly. Uh, when we get that last core, basically. Ooh. Let's take that off. I forgot to take that off. Hmm. Last thing I want to do is a sip of lunkhead liqueur will toughen you up. Too bad it's like drinking a saddlebag. Two more proving grounds to get 5,000 fragments and five, five more mementos to get 1,500 and of course we need to upgrade all those. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. 
It's gonna foreshadow him again, obviously. Personally, I think some of these buildings look better if, if you put them in the right order. It, it could work anywhere, but... Hmm. I'd... I guess they would just be flipped if they were on this side. Well, this was on the other side before, and it was just flipped. Uh, completely flipped. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. So the only thing to buy here is upgrade material. And I don't really need upgrade material. I need more fragments and I'm not getting tons of them. We only got probably about 400, maybe five, yeah, 400 or less uh, fragments for the last two levels we did, just did. And remember, we have invoked half of the gods, and so we're getting 30% increased XP and 30% increased um, fragments. And it's still we track the final core on. beyond the city to the wilds. Honestly, I don't think this would be a very good game if it ended right here at this. Le level. I I'm certainly happy that it definitely does not end here. But I, you you you're getting down to like a two dollar game, like a one one dollar game, maybe ten dollar games. Uh, I don't think this ever was sold for the full sixty price that people like to charge. But if it was, I'd still be all okay with it. Not super happy with its length. But if it just ended right here, yeah, that would be a really short game. We don't have any other proven grounds except for the Bullhead Court. So, let's take the opportunity to increase our... Cinderbrook Stout. Can't be too careful these days. So we're gonna try it. That's the bullhead court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. I don't think the gods are invoked in this, but maybe they are. So maybe I should The accused the always got a fair shake in Ceylandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. So we are trying to do less than three hits. The bullhead trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, you gotta always watch your back. Third, ain't no godlike bull up there gonna save you.
smarter ones knew when to just step aside and let things go. second prize that's, that's the question 15 hits so 252 that's a strange odd number but it doesn't seem like I really got an increase so maybe I could do it again if I get really lucky and had let Got the scumbag to run off the edge. Could have probably done some stuff, but really, in the end of the day, I'm never gonna get less than three. It would just well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. Incredible amount of effort. A lot of time. So all these guys are still waiting for me to talk to them about the stuff. If these were making it more difficult, I didn't really feel it. Uh, it seemed like everything was working just fine. Let's see. Strange this to Hardy Punch. already know what the next three po tonics are. The party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. So we didn't... We went from four that got first place on the first try, to the scrapyard, which took it several, several tries, to the bullhead court, which we're probably never going to get done. And so next time we're gonna do the wild outskirts. And we're gonna continue with our process here of not showing anybody the journal, thus nobody ever getting mad, thus uh, him never running, uh, Zolf never running off. And we'll see if that really works, even though we know it won't. But that's the end of this episode, so as always I ask you to like, share, subscribe, Comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me through fan funding, click on my name, right out. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. There on the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Any amount, no matter how small, will be greatly appreciated. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Google Plus or Steam or Battle.net, all that information is down below. Thank you for watching this episode. Have a good evening.